All right. Um, I didn't want to uh, uh, get these confused uh, with other BNC adapters that I have. And so, uh, but if you've ever seen um, VNA calibration equipment, a lot of times the uh, cal standards are connected together. And a lot of times they're on a, a neck uh, uh, lanyard as well. So you can kind of carry them around with you. Um, we saw uh, this build of uh, a female um, SMA. So this, this puts them all together and, and, and holds them. Um, so I decided to build one from my BNCs here. Um, I have the open and uh, short, and I actually filled in the rest of the uh, uh, area here. So it's, it's, it's solid, uh, solid conductor now. And the, the 50 ohm load. Um, so uh, I kind of wanted a, a way to a way to hold these, and uh, I've seen the uh, triangular ones before. It's kind of what the other one was based off of. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of Delrin. Oops, I'm not on camera here. Uh, I'm going to take a piece of Delrin, and I'm going to uh, uh, make threaded holes so I can put these uh, BNCs here uh, so that they're all. Uh, all being held together. I thought about making it out of aluminum, but I thought it'd be better to make it out of some insulating material so uh, the uh, electrical planes aren't aren't uh, perturbated by the rest of uh, metal being around them. So anyway, let me let me show you what I've come up with here. Uh, I decided to um, uh, make it round in shape, and I'm going to have three threaded holes. Uh, if you want to make one of these, I'm making it 24 millimeters in diameter and 14 millimeters thick. Um, I'm at a, 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 a uh, impasse right now. Um, I noticed that these BNCs have very strange threads. I, I never really noticed it before. But um, I was going to um, tap a hole. And I went over and grabbed some taps that I have. And I went, well, those don't look right. And so I got out a thread gauge that is a bunch of holes with threads, and, and this one didn't fit any of them. And I thought, well, that's really strange. And I thought, it can't be, it's too old to be metric. The BNCs have been around forever. Um, so I got out a thread gauge, and I measured the pitch of these, and they're 32. Uh, even though it's a 3 8 um, diameter, it's a 32 thread which is uh, ultra-fine thread. It's not fine thread, it's like ultra-fine thread. So it is a thing, and you can buy taps. I don't have one, and so I've had to order one. Um, so that's on order. So I have made uh, what I can. I've taken a piece of Delrin uh, and uh, put three holes in it. So the Delrin will be insulating and should hold up just fine. When I get my uh, when I get my tap, I'll I'll tap these holes and uh, thread these guys in, and I should have a nice little uh, uh, nice little unit. All right, got this in the mail today. Uh, so this is my three eight thirty two, uh, which should be the same pitch as these BNCs. So I'll uh, I'll go ahead and uh, tap the. Uh, Tap the three holes in my uh, Delrin here and we'll get it assembled. Alright, let's see if uh, see if these fit. Alright. Come on, go in straight. Uh, that hole is not cooperating. This one works. There we go. Is that pretty cool? So now we have uh, all of our uh, BNCs where they can't get lost. 
I'll get a little wrench and uh, tighten that up a bit. But uh, yeah, that's going to be cool. I'm going to have to mark them. Uh, which one is a short? Which one is an open? So All right. We'll have to do that. Short. Uh, let me figure load. That out. Open. There we go.